an incredible story of survival. It is a special holiday season for 56 year old Joe Tirolosi and his family. Just a couple of months ago, Joe's heart came to a complete stop for almost an hour, 47 minutes to be exact. Doctors refused to give up on him and the result was nothing short of a miracle. By all medical accounts, Joe Tirolosi should not be alive. In August, the father of two, complaining of feeling disoriented, walked through the emergency room doors of New York Presbyterian Hospital. Shortly afterward, he was in full cardiac arrest. His heart stopped beating for 47 minutes. When Joe came in, he was talking and uh, he literally collapsed right in our triage area. Amazing. The doctors who treated Tirolosi knew the odds. Only one out of four people survived sudden cardiac arrest. Most die within 10 minutes. It took doctors over 4,500 chest compressions and eight shocks from a defibrillator to stabilize him and give him his life back. I imagine that he was a man with a family and a family someplace and I didn't want to go out to tell that family that we had lost him. In a network exclusive, the early show is happy to have Joe Tirolosi with us this morning, as well as Drs. Rolos Sharma and Dr. Flavio Gaudio. Good morning to the three. Good to see you guys morning, again. Morning, Joe, let me ask you, you are a living, breathing miracle right now. How emotional, how wonderful a Thanksgiving was this for you and the family? It was, um, it was very emotional. Uh, and it was also wonderful in that um, I mean, through my mind when I was sitting at the table or in the living room and uh, we kind of had a football game on and everyone was uh, talking, laughing. Uh, it was beautiful to just have my family. Um, we were on a couch and at one point towards the end of the day, we all, I think it was my father-in-law's idea, everyone got up and around and we took a family picture together. I'd say it was probably around 15 of my closest uh, family and uh, it was very, very special, Chris. I bet. Doctors, let me ask you, and Dr. Sharma, I'll start with you first. Over 4,500 chest compressions, you used a defibrillator eight times, you were able to finally stabilize and bring his body temperature down to 91 degrees. At what point did you say, let's keep going, but why not stop? I think the, the general reaction people have is, why go so long, 47 minutes without a heartbeat? Well, Chris, Joe walked into our emergency department and he collapsed in triage. The fact that this happened in front of everybody, I believe everybody was very emotionally drawn to this, so we just said we, can, we cannot stop. Yeah. Doctor, let me ask you, how rare is this for not only Joe's heart to have been stopped for 47 minutes, but for him to be here three months later, healthy as a horse, <laughs> no neurological damage. It's extremely rare. We had a representative from the American Heart Association describe that she had never heard of such a case and they collect data from across the nation and around the world to have been down for so long and come back uh, basically normal. Yeah, I know it's difficult for you guys to have an emotional connection with every patient, but the amount of time that we've talked over the last few weeks, you seem to have an emotional connection to this patient. Yes, Joe and I and Flavio have become great friends. We email routinely. Uh, Joe's going to be at our holiday party as well. So Joe's become a new friend. Joe, what do you, when you look at these doctors, and these are just two of many that, that helped you on that day, I want to be uh, quick to point that out, but, but what do you say? What, what, what can you say to these guys and to everyone that was at the hospital that day? Uh, I love, I, 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 I truly love these guys. Um, they bring tears to my eyes when I think about them. And as you said, not just Dr. Gario and Dr. Sharma, but uh, a team of nurses and other doctors that uh, have been so on top of me and uh, taking care of me and giving my life back. Um, is almost a loss of words. Uh, it's hard for me to uh, explain the feelings uh, I have. I mean, uh, I, I smile when I think of them. I yeah. think of them every day. Um, they become good friends of mine. Yeah. Uh, I can't say enough about them and the professionalism. The, uh, you're, you're a lucky man. It's good to have you here talking. Thank you so much. Walking around, time. feeling good and looking good. Joe, thanks. Thank you. Continued so success, much. okay? Thank you so much. All right, Erica, let's go over to you. Doctors, thank you as well. Good to see the both of you Pleasure as well. Erica, let's go over to you. Great story, Chris. Thanks.